Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brad Shichin here, and today I am doing another spotlight video for Space Engineers, and on today's episode we have the Gravity Transit Tubes. Now, I'm doing this early on because this is actually an experimental based spotlight, uh, where it is not a simple ship or it's not a simple station, it's actually something that's really really cool that actually uses the physics in the game to its advantage. And this here is well, the transit tube. Now, the way this works is somebody figured out that if you plant a ton of gravity generators in one spot, it'll generate such a massive field that it'll pull you along very, very fast. So I'm going to demonstrate it here really quickly. This person has put quite a few around the place, which is really, really awesome, and they're all they're all different in length as well. So the way this works, the way this person has set it up, is that this here is exactly the distance away from it that out here I'm safe but the second I go into that and turn off my jetpacks it'll pull me towards it so here I'll show you guys no gravity right now go in here gravity so let's demonstrate it it'll let me float towards it and turn off my jetpack oh turn off yeah there we go and he made it so it slows you down just in time as well so that is really really cool and I want to show you guys this just so you guys can get ideas for it for yourself and I too have used this myself on my own ships and stuff like that. My Red Saber has a gravity cannon, which there will be a video of my Red Saber coming up after this, as well as an update feature. He does have little baits in here as well. So it does seem like he has gravity generators pulling you down here as well. Is that gravity generators? No, they're lights. My mistake. Let me float down here. There's a gravity generator over there. I forgot this thing has lights on it. There we go. I'm not entirely sure why this is here. I'm guessing this is maybe a landing station. But, like I said, this is simply... Uh, well, I'm going to call his creation a demonstration of what you can do in the game. With what's currently here. Oh, crap, I bounced off. Now, every at the time I did that before, I actually landed right on here, which is really, really cool. So, he's built quite a few bases as well. Which I haven't completely explored. Simply because I don't like ladders. Uh, I'll float up though. I wish there was a texture to those because right now it looks really, really weird. Oh crap, I have to go in there, don't I? There we go. Up and over. But, uh, yeah, I really, really like this simply because it was so creative. Whoa. Oh, was I floating still? Oh, there mustn't be any gravity up here. Right, I forgot about that. And what does this lead? This leads into a pretty pretty chill room and a nice view out here. How nice, I haven't actually been over here yet. I'll fly my way back to the transit tube. See, you can just imagine in a multiplayer world or a multiplayer server where they have these connecting stations or connecting uh, points of interest and stuff like that, it would be so much fun. I really can't wait to this game as multiplayer. So I'll go back and I'll check out that little ship he made. Just just for the sake of it. So I think this is just to simply fly around and have a look at things. Where's the uh, cockpit? There it is. Kind of reminds me of the ships from Star Wars, even though. Like, this would be if it was flattened. Now, there is one thing I want to note, and that is that ships aren't affected by gravity fields. I'm not too sure whether they will be. Uh, later on, but I mean currently they don't need to be now that they've got the uh, the landing gear thing. At the end of this video I might as well crash his ship into something. Should I break one of the transit tubes? Oh, that'd be cruel. It's a really nice creation too. Well, th this is this is for science, my friend. Please, please break. Please at least let me hit it. Like, right on. I want to be lined up perfectly. That was a, That was dead on. And we broke that off, and there goes the, uh, whoa, yeah, there we go, why, what happened to the ship? I think the ship just completely blew, oh, there it is, there's a little piece of it left floating around. Well, that was the Gravity Transit Tubes, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys later.